course you land on Boxing News in the capital city here with Tommy Martin, Tommy went to the press conference today, you're fighting on a major undercard at the Copper Box, how are you feeling about performing on that, that stage, I know you thought yeah, it was a big show. Yeah, I can't wait, um, it's just a moment of time I've, I've uh, been on the big stage before at the O2 and uh, I just can't wait for January. John Wayne, a, bit, a man you know a lot about. You sparred, you've worked together before. Do you feel you have the beating of him, Tommy? Yeah, definitely. Otherwise, I wouldn't be taking the fight. Um, listen, everyone's telling me that it's a step up in class and that it's too early for me. Well, not everyone, just just Wayne. <laughs> um, but let's face it, he's not here today because he's out in Tenerife. So uh, we know he knows that what what the task is ahead, and uh, he's preparing for a walk. Would you um, would you make that? I mean, to take him, do you take that as a compliment? I mean, to take him off this early in camp at to... definitely, yeah. Um, he's, he's not taking me lightly. It's obvious for that, and uh, so he shouldn't because this is going to be an absolute war for 12 rounds. So uh, I really can't wait. No doubt you've heard those words before. This is a fight too soon against the likes of Ricky Boyle and that, and show yeah. everyone what you're capable of doing. You're dug deep in your last fight at the O2 Arena as well. That's it. So you're showing people that you have got what it takes to compete yeah, at this level. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that, but um, I'm going to prove them all wrong again, just like the boiling fight. Let them keep digging themselves a hole. Listen, it takes the pressure off my shoulders at the end of the day. It does, I'm going into a win-win situation with this fight, just like the boiling fight. So, all I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, listen, I put enough pressure on myself. I don't, I don't really need the pressure of everyone else. So, everyone saying that it's too young is making it even better for me, making it easier. So, um, you'll see on January 30th how... I've come on since the boiling fight, since the all of them, since the last since the last one against Michael Devine. You'll see how much I come on from Barry Smith. Yeah, you mentioned there the Devine fight. You took some took some big shots, and you and you dug deep, and you showed not only can you box on the back foot. Yeah. And you know, fine angles that maybe other fighters can't fight, can stand and, and trade and, and take those shots. Listen, I like, my problem is I like having a fight. People don't know that yet because I've always looked pretty and box on the back foot and use my jab, but Wayne knows that. Wayne knows I like a fight. So uh, even from the boiling fight, he, he said in the training camp for the boiling fight, Tom, I don't know why they're calling you a baby. I don't know why. So he knows. He knows I ain't no baby. And uh, it's going to be a great fight. Regarding your trainer, Barry Smith taking you out to uh, MGM, Marbella, lots of fighters training out yeah. there, good, good standard of training and facilities and whatnot. Just tell us a bit about how that's yeah, improving you as a fighter. It's the, it's the best. Um, I can't thank the MGM boys enough. They manage me now as well. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, the training camp out there, oh, it's just second to none. It's like a professional football setup out there. Everything's done for you. It's like a village in the gym and uh, you can literally live in it. And I can't thank them enough for putting me up there. When you're away from everything, away from your, your, your family and uh, familiarities, are you out there just focusing on, on one thing? Definitely, you're, definitely. You're but also when I'm in England, because people don't probably know this, but Monday to Friday I live in London on my own. And um, I, I stay away from the missus and the family and just go home and uh, see them on the weekend. So for my, like, my rest period. But um, Monday to Friday, yeah, I'm in, I'm in a little bed sit. That's it, I'm just uh, training with Barry at the Limas Marina. And if not, in Marbella. Familiar pattern for young fighters now staying away from their families, especially in London. Do you, do, do you feel that's going to set you apart later on in your yeah, career? Yeah, it's got. Listen, it's got to be done. It's got to be done, and uh, if it's not broken, don't fix it. They say, and I've done it since I was 18, since I was a kid, and um, I'm still a kid, as they say. Uh, but uh, look at what it's doing for my career. Look at the last 12 months. I can't, I can't thank Matchroom enough for how they brought me on. And just finally, Tommy. January 30th at the Copper Box, yourself and John Mayne a bit. How, how do you see that fight down? How do you see that playing out? Fireworks. It's going to be an absolute war. And uh, I just can't wait. I really can't. Tommy Martin, thank you for your time, sir. Much appreciated. Cheers, Tommy.